Welcome to the show. How you doing? Well, I'm okay. I'm a little dismayed, but I'm hoping you can help me out. Hopefully, we can get to the bottom of this. We would love to help you. We would love to get a second date for you, or at the very least, you know, some kind of explanation. Well, I just don't understand what happened, so let me fill you in. I met Mark on Plenty of Fish, okay. and we went out three different times. Oh, all right. So, yeah, we had coffee, and then we had lunch, and then a dinner. Nice. And it was really nice. It was um, kind of like progressive dating, I guess. Yeah. And if he would have called me back, we would have gone out on a fourth date. And I'm thinking it would have included something like a sleepover, which mm. I totally believe we were heading for, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but it never, so, got to, it uh, never got that far, huh? We did, it didn't get that far. But the chemistry was definitely there, and I would have been open to taking it to that level for sure. Mm. But it's like no dice. He just stop calling and stop texting and I'm really disappointed and I'm hoping you can get this all figured out for me because I really don't know what else to tell you. I mean, we hit it off and the conversation was great and he was funny and charming. He told me I was beautiful and sexy and that he'd never met anyone quite like me. Just everything a girl wants a guy to say to her and that's, that's why I'm so lost. Mm. When when did he say these things to you? Was this over coffee or lunch, or were these things that came up over dinner the last time you saw him? It was really more like the the last dinner. I mean, we you know you could tell we hit it off for, with coffee, and he was really sweet. And then that's when we the next time we had lunch, but it was really dinner. He just he looked like he was confessing. Like he's like, I got to just tell you, I just think you're this, and and he just said all these things, and it seemed so genuine. You know, that it did seem genuine. It didn't to, seem like he was laying a line like, on you. Like lines to get me. Right. No. Right. No, not at all. It was just like, and I was just like, and I felt the same way, mm -hmm. which is so cool because there's been so many times where, you know, you, you might say it and then you say, you say or feel it or vice versa. And you're like, oh, this is so awkward. But to, to both feel it, it's so cool. Wow. Hmm. So how did the dinner end did you come separately did he drop you off at home what did the vibe feel like when you said goodbye um the vibe was great for coffee and lunch we met up and then with dinner he took me back to my place but i told him you know in a polite way he wasn't gonna come up that night you know right so he walked me to my door and gave me a really nice kiss on the cheek and that's when he like held my hands and we were just talking and you know he was saying all those really nice things Knowing that he wasn't going to get any, you know, <laughs> any action or anything. <laughs> Knowing with this, maybe not keep up the sweet talk. Maybe next time. That doesn't stop right, the sweet right. talk. We're still over. There's an outside chance. Got to turn it up a We'll not. see. Maybe she'll change her mind with my charm. Yeah. No, I, I'm pretty impeccable with my word. All right. No means no. No changing of the mind. No changing the mind. But, you know, what I was telling him was the truth, too. I was very communicative with him. I see well, this going like somewhere, that. too. Just not tonight. Mm-hmm. Give it time. Okay. It's been about how long? A week? Two weeks? Two weeks. Okay. Long time. Generally speaking, is he a pretty good text responder? Yes. That's so, I was so, I was just like, wait a second. Hold on. He's one of those, like, you send something and then the bubbles are right up. Cursor on the field. Yep. Cursor in the field. That's immediately what I thought when she said the bubbles. I know what you mean. That's called cursor in the field, just so you know. Oh, okay. I never heard of that. Really well, that's because oh, Jeff in, made it up. That's in the Jeff dictionary. <laughs> okay. So that's where we are, guys. It's been a couple of weeks. Mark is usually pretty good at getting back to her. Um, he's not. It just That was the last time she'd ever seen or heard from him, I guess. Right, Lena? That was it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. And uh, so it is a mystery, and we're just going to call the guy. You guys ready? Let's do it. Yep. All right. Hello? Hi, can we speak to Mark, please? Uh, this is. Who's calling, please? Hi, Mark. It's Jeff and Jen at Q102. How are you doing this morning? Uh, I'm good. Hey, how are you? <laughs> doing all doing right. Doing great. Thank you for asking, and thank you for taking our call. We were hoping you'd have a minute or two to come on the radio with us. Are you available? Just for a quick uh, chit-chat? Sure, sure. 
All right, so there's a woman out there who's a big fan of yours, and she was telling us about you. You sound like a great guy, very nice, and um, she uh, she she knows you a little bit. She's had coffee, lunch, and dinner with you, and has not seen or heard from you since the dinner. I'm talking about Lena. All right, here's she <laughs> calling me for a second date update, huh? I see you listen to the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I won something at first. All right. Sorry. Well, here we go. Uh, I liked her a lot. It's just, um, I can't date someone who who lies to me. You can't date someone who lies to you? No. I knew something about her going into our first date, and I kind of waited and sat on it and waited and waited for her to tell me. I left the door open, gave her an opportunity, opportunity after opportunity to fess up. She never did. And I, I figured... Ghosting someone who couldn't be honest with me was no big deal, but now here we are. So what's she telling you about me? Wow. <laughs> so give us, a, what's the scoop here? I mean, what is it that you think you knew about her going in that you were waiting for her to tell you? Or should we ask her if she needs to come clean about anything first? I don't know, Lena. Do you know what he's talking about? I, um, what... You want to tell him or should I? So what I... Okay, what, I will. What, what I kept waiting lie. for her to tell me was that she's married to a woman and has a child with her. Huh? How do you know that? I'm just curious. I mean, it's true, mostly, but that's just something that I wasn't ready to talk to you about because, first of all, the child is hers. She had him long before I met her, so I have no legal claim to him. I mean, we're close, of course. Um, and second of all, we are in the process of divorcing after only being married for 10 months. It was this crazy whim, last minute, funny thing that we did. But I caught her cheating with my brother. What? So that's just a little more drama oh. than I care to share with someone that I was just getting to know. This just became very Jerry Springer. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. I don't mean that disrespectfully. There's just a lot of just, details. That's a lot going on that's there. That's a lot going on. I'm sorry. Lena, can you just clarify one thing? Are you still living in the same house with your wife? We're in the same house, but we're I'm in a totally different part of the house. Okay. That explains the... And she's with my brother now, so it's not like she doesn't... Really? We're done. Like, we're done. But we just haven't been able to whack out, like, the, the so, logistics of splitting up. So Okay, I, I didn't know. I didn't know any of that. So yeah. do both you and your wife have a history with men then, just men, or do you both have a history with men and women? Because obviously she men has... Men and a, women. So, okay. Men and women. Okay. But I had a, I felt very, I haven't, what I felt for Mark, and maybe I shouldn't be saying this, but I have nothing to lose because he thinks I'm some liar now. I'm really, I, I'm not. But I just didn't want to bring all that drama into, I was just having such a good time. I didn't want to be reminded of like what's with the drama at home. But like, but I felt something for him that I hadn't felt for anybody, man or woman. Well, yeah, and as a woman, well, at one point, do you tell your date that you're married to another woman and she has a child, but now she's with your brother? Yeah, like right. how many dates in do is you that, start divulging that? Yeah. Do you share that before you sleep together, or is yeah. that something? I just wanted to let you know, by the way, before we bang down. I don't know the answer. Also, I mean, there's a lot of information available everywhere. And how do you find all this wouldn't out? I'm you, kind of like Yeah, wouldn't you want to hear it from... Wouldn't you want him to hear it from you rather than yeah. see it on a Facebook post or something? Like social media. I know. It's probably social media. Unlike some people who delete all their, you know, all their, po like, I'm I'm not going to delete any of this stuff. But I also didn't expect Mark to go, like, going around my Facebook. Well, you're very naive about that. <laughs> <laughs> everyone does that. Yes. There was no Facebook stalking, honestly. I just... I knew you were married to a woman. There was a kid. A friend of mine told me that, and I was waiting on you to tell oh. me. Yeah, can I just really ask, sorry. like, if if you knew that, why did you see it through? Was this some kind of test? Uh, can you just well, kind of explain I, to me? I generally, I do like her. No, I really do like her, and I just it's just kind of a big it was a thing that was hanging out there. And I thought, well, if you're not going to tell me, and then there's the whole thing about the good night and how it was awkward outside, and and yes, it was all left open and. 
you know, this is something you kind of have to put out there. And yes, I could say I knew, but then then you would think I was stalking, and I didn't want to do that. Mark, at I what like point you do you think it would have been appropriate for her to tell you? Over coffee, the lunch, or dinner? <laughs> yes, there you go. Well, if you had to, if you had to put a label on it, I would say um, I would say lunch. <laughs> I, That's it. I feel you like this is dinner question, and drinks conversation <laughs> actually you, you think that dinner would have been more appropriate well to say, yeah i mean way, lunch is like, like how was your to day click. today great sounds wow. good um, Man. I mean, look guys i mean I, I, just, can i just say this really quick because yeah. i just have to say if you would have just asked me i would have told you yeah because mm. you know what i mean you re- you realize that you liked me too with um you know withholding that information so I mean, that's kind of sneaky know. on his part i mean that's sneaky and kind of manipulative don't you think well right let's let's right. i mean let's he's, put he's, aside the fact that she's married to a woman which is <laughs> a little less common than if she was married to a man and her husband was having an affair with anyone, at what point would you expect her or him, if the situation was reversed, to come clean with that and say, hey, by the way, we're on our third date. You should probably know that I'm technically married. If that was a man who failed to bring that up. Uh, You're so right. If I went out with a woman three times and left conveniently left out the fact that I've got a wife at home, a spouse at home. Well, they're divorcing. Yeah, but I'd be pissed. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not. I'm not pissed. Like I, I'm. Are you willing to go on a f- one, two, three, fourth date? Absolutely. <laughs> now that he knows the What's truth. Number four. Lena, are you still open to going out with Mark? Now that we've sort of well, cleared this up. I mean, at first I was, you know, really upset, but I would go on a fourth date with him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry for being a judgmental ass, you know? <laughs> I mean, I get it. I understand, but I promise that's just my little drama, and I know we all have it. We've all got something. So, Lena, what happens when you have that girl itch again? Well, hopefully he'll be man enough where that doesn't happen. Whoa. <laughs> I'm just saying, and, there's and, all, and you know we're what? throwing everything on the table here. Yeah, there's all sorts well, of Well, maybe that's a question for him. What are you? How would you feel if she gets the girl itch back? A little bit. Or at Thanksgiving when uh, you're with your brother who's sleeping with your former lover. Yeah, how's who's that like, going to go? Wife. Wife, my wife, right. Oh, I know. Well, goodness. you know what? You know what? Baby you know what? Here. I'll bring my sister. And- <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Oh, my God. I am so glad you Good guys answer. have a sense of humor about all <laughs> That's I mean, not how it goes. Seriously. I'm stressed out just out of the conversation. <laughs> all right. Well, Le- since Lena reached out to us, Mark... We'll make the arrangements with her. You'll be hearing from her again. Just Great. respond when she reaches out either way. Yeah, just text. <laughs> I just, I don't know. How do they end Jerry Springer, <laughs> Jerry's thoughts when he sits on the little stool? And hey, if they're willing to let it all go and move yeah, on, so sure. are we. Yeah. I am very uh, interested, though, and in what like the listeners think about when is the appropriate time to like let your baggage out. Yeah, you know yeah I, I mean, mean it's like, always a question. When is the appropriate I mean, how many time? times have we had the conversation about when do you reveal to your date that you have herpes? Yeah, like, you know, do when you do you reveal to your date that you're going through a divorce? Uh, when do you reveal to your date that you were married? You were in a same sex marriage. There needs to be rules on stuff like that. Wouldn't it be so right, much yes. easier if there were like just the rules? rule says on date number four before yeah. we sleep together? I yep. have to tell you all my stuff. At what point do you reveal your salary to the person you're dating? <laughs> never. I don't even know. I was going to say that too. <laughs> I've been in relationships for months, and that's never even come up. Scott and I have been yeah, together for no. years. I have no idea what he makes at his job. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Mm. All right. I like how your example started with the herpes. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, do you either of you have herpes? Is a big one. <laughs> oh, Lord. No. No. You don't want to know. Are you kidding? Here, not, not now. None of our business. I may have drama, but I don't have STDs. Yes. Okay, uh-huh. guys. That's, That's a plus. There's still time. Well, Mark, we're going to hang up with you, but uh, Lena, we're going to put you on hold so Fritz can make the arrangements, okay? <laughs> okay, thank you I'm guys so, so much. I'm so that. grateful. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm glad it worked out. Great. Thank I'll, you, Mark. Thank you, guys. All right, take okay, it easy. Bye. Um, so I'm going to read you a letter that came that I just thought was really sweet. This came from our sister station, WTOP. They posted a letter from the Jefferson County School System in Charlestown, West Virginia. This this letter was sent out to parents and students yesterday. I saw this. This is this is great. 
Dear Jefferson County Schools community, For generations, families have greeted the first snow day of the year with joy. It is a time of renewed wonder at all the beautiful things that each season holds, a reminder of how fleeting a childhood can be, an opportunity to make some memories with your families that you hold on to for life. For all of these reasons and many more, Jefferson County Schools will be completely closed for tomorrow, December 16th, in honor of the first snow day of the year. (laughs) Closed for students, closed for virtual, closed for staff. It has been a year of seemingly endless loss and the stress of trying to make up for that loss. For just a moment, we can all let go of the worry of making up for the many things we missed by making sure this is one thing our kids won't lose this year. So please, enjoy a day of sledding and hot chocolate and cozy (laughs) fires. Take pictures of your kids in snow hats that they will outgrow by next year and read books that you have wanted to lose yourself in but haven't had the time. We will return to the serious and urgent business of growing up on Thursday. But for tomorrow, go build a snowman. I love it. Sincerely, Bondi Shea Gibson, superintendent of the Jefferson County Schools in Charlestown, West Virginia. I love that. That's yeah. awesome. So that's what the kids are doing in Charlestown, West Virginia Good for today. for them. And I hope they take all that advice and do exactly what they suggest.